Now then, let's cover all the cool features this tank has. As you can see, for me this I, this feels like a very very heavy kit because of the amount of parts that has been introduced in it. So it's it's interesting to see how well designed this thing is. We'll begin with the cannons. Obviously, cannons go up and down easily. When cannons are not in use, or I guess it needs some sort of weird firing arc that does not want to be, you know, moved, you pull out these support pegs, and then you just lay the guns to rest. This isn't a gimmick. It has nothing to do with making the kit a little bit better. Ah, well, well, it's based on your point of view, but it's a cool feature. It's very nice. Um, you have these vents that open very easily and close very easily. Oh, well, there we go. See? Uh, head has very the head has very limited movement, as you can see. It can only go left and right, and a little bit up and down. You have the capability of, and if you can. I have to use this. Opening up the canopy and seeing the pilot. And then from here you can actually see, eh, it's kind of hard to see it from here, but you can see the dashboard that is comprised of a, of a sticker that you put over the clear part. The arms will go all the way out to that point. It will not go any further. Actually, correction, up to here. It'll go all the way out to here and then down. But here's the problem though. You need to really, really grab it right for this. This is my only, this is my first of few little issues I have with the kit for now. Okay, there is very little movement with the gun, with the arms. It, it's not as versatile as a, as a Gundam or any other kit. Um, so you gotta be, you have to understand you're not going to be doing a lot of poses. The guns were only meant for one thing, firing in, in a specific arc. So. Uh, and so, of course, you see the arms will twist and turn like that and then rotate if you need to. Now, obviously, the one of the gimmicks that this gun has is the fact that while you turn this, the guns will pretend it's firing, which is cool. It looks okay, um, but you have to do this, obviously, by holding both hands. Furthermore, this part is very loose. It doesn't snap in. At first, I thought maybe it was specific to one side, so I replaced, uh, I replaced this part with this part, and vice versa, and it doesn't seem to snap in. So maybe this requires a glue, you know, for you to glue it inside. I don't see it as as something to remove to expose armor because just by looking at it, it doesn't look like it's, you know, part of the, of the inner frame. As a matter of fact, the whole arm is doesn't have no inner frame. It's very solid and open. Furthermore, I think this should have been extended out a bit further because it only goes up to here and then it's easy to pop out. Now, um, it has excellent waist uh, maneuverability and, and flexibility. You can turn like this and this, and then maybe a little bit back, a little bit front. Um, the bottom waist can be tilted a bit forward and back. No side to side, unfortunately. Now the tank treads. Um, as you can see, the tank treads has to be like this. If you don't put the amount, the correct amount of parts, you'll see it stretch like this and it's not going to be good it'll tend to pop out so you have to add that extra part so that way the tank treads collapse down 
there's this little section here where you this armor where you pull it down and there's a switch if you pull the switch all the way to the front the the treads go extend out down if you pull it all the way in the back the treads collapse inside inwards I think this is designed for like this is traction and this is speed uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong but that's how I interpret it now here's another unique feature of the kit you can actually pull out the leg like so you see and then of course you have to be very careful with the tank treads though. This thing can come out very easily. It it is it it, it does hold on. That's a that's a good thing. But if you fool around with it a bit, it will pop out. So anyway, you can pull out the tank treads up to a point, so be very careful. I'll do it on this side as well. You see? <laughs> I wouldn't suggest if you guys want to glue this because obviously if you glue it then you lose the effect of the tank treads. Because they it has to maneuver around like a chain. Actually, hang on a second. I gotta at least do this. Yes, you guys. All right. So as you can see, the legs can be extended out like that. Obviously, for climbing purposes and sidewalking purposes, that's pretty nice. I like that. That that's a good gimmick. I have no complaints about that. Just got to be very careful what to do with when you pull it out and pull it back in again. Uh, they will fall back into place once you squeeze it in. Uh, another gimmick, of course, is the rear and forward um, support stabilizers this is of course to be used I guess when you're trying to fire long-range artillery and you don't want to to tank to you know move while it's firing excellent gimmick of course but you know, I think maybe it's not necessary like some people say but it it it, it does go in and out smoothly without any difficulties without anything you know fooling around uh, some other stuff of course we see this which of course when you remove it move the panel actually wrong thing if you remove this panel here you can actually see the rounds for the loading mechanism of this gun uh, an another you know gimmick you know uh, visual gimmick I would say um, other than that, it's very flexible, as you can see. The tank treads will move around. It's pretty nice. It has a very good effect. And it's very strong. Very strong indeed. Now, the last gimmick, of course, would be the head. You turn on the light, LED light. By the way, as you see, this one comes out very easily, so this should be glued. I, I think that's a must. So you turn on this switch here and you have the LED lights turning on. Oh, you see? That's the only added feature to this kit. Now I wish I had Gundam 2.0 with me because then I now could uh, remove the torso and put it on this. But this is the one year war version and it's not compatible unfortunately so for anybody who has the one year war version of the Gundam don't pop this out and put this here it's not gonna work and then of course finally here's a 144th scale to for size comparison anyway I give this two thumbs up for this kit it is very nice very solid construction a little minor inconsistencies that I didn't like other than that it's a very good kit so I hope everyone enjoyed this video series of master grade gun tank hope to see you guys soon take care bye bye